Instagram for Merit Adventures. Right here, you see my aquarium. I know the water looks a little bit hazy. I just done a 50% uh, water change. And uh, this tank here is filled with African cichlids. Um, we've got Mbumas, we've got uh, several other varieties. We have um, the convict cichlids, but they're actually going to another home. Uh, my cousin has a large aquarium that we're gonna put these in. I also have some shrimp. These guys, keep this aquarium clean. I'm gonna spin this around and let you guys watch the fish. All right, so some of you people already know, I actually live in an aquarium, or <laughs> live in an aquarium. I have an aquarium in an apartment. I live in an apartment. Some of you people that might live in an apartment are wondering, how do you do it? How do you keep things safe? How do you keep, uh, you know, from things happening, how do you keep from getting evicted? Well, don't make it obvious is one thing. And uh, make sure you keep checks on everything constantly. You know, look, always look for leaks, which I haven't had. This is a brand new aquarium. You know, I keep checks on everything. And, uh, you know, I've got really good filtration in here. We've got plants. This is a planted aquarium. I try to do water changes once a week. Um, I'm trying to get to the point where I don't have to do water changes very often since we've got a live planted set up. So I've tried to keep this aquarium really as simple as possible. That being said, I tried to get the plants, which I've got bamboo here. I've got some other vine plants. I really want this aquarium to take care of itself where I can do is the least amount of water changes and keep all the nitrates low, keep everything in balance. So far it's working great. Um, you know, in order to fill my aquarium up, I use my bathtub. I have a bucket run back and forth. I use that same bucket for my water changes. Um, you know, it's a great setup. I'm going to go ahead and feed these fish for you guys and let you check it out. Now, whenever I was younger, and I lived with my parents, I had a lot of aquariums. I had one that was 250 gallon, and then I had a five fifty-five gallon aquarium, so were all linked together, and the fish could swim from tank to tank. It was really cool. I used aquarium bridges, but this tank is normally extremely, extremely clean, but like I said, I just done a a slight water change and kind of got some stuff stirred up, but yeah, guys, this is my tank. You can see the shrimp there just eating away. Okay, guys, so, so now that you see all the fish, we're going to talk about the filtration systems. Now, I do things a little bit different than most people. Um, this is a tried and true method that I've done for years. Um, so for one, I have a canister filter. This tank is probably over filtered, but you know, that's just the way I am. You know, I, I like to keep a good, clean aquarium, and I like to kind of, not necessarily overstock, but I like to have a lot of fish in my aquarium. So I have the canister. I have this filter here that it came with. But what I do is I pack my filters full of these sponges that you can get on Amazon and what this is, is it creates a place for your bacteria to live and breed. And this helps your aquarium more than anything. I bought this aquarium here, or this aquarium, this filter here from Amazon. And it's also packed full of filters, or well, I call them filters, but sponges. And uh, it's just a natural bacteria that builds up on these that, that keeps this water crystal clear. Um, this tank is still in its infancy. I've only had it going for about two and a half weeks now. And it's phenomenal. I mean, you see, I've got, I've got algae growing on the, I've got algae everywhere, but the algae is coming off the live rock. So these, all these rocks were live. And I pulled them out of a stream and they had their natural algae and everything. I planted the entire aquarium put root tabs in it, and these fish are happy and healthy. Um, I do have two clown loaches in here. 
I've got two, uh, uh, what are those, peacock cichlids. And I'm telling you guys, uh, this aquarium has been one of the easiest thus far setups that I've done. I added the bamboo today. Um, hopefully that'll really take off because I want it to grow long enough to where I can put it into the substrate. And I'm just running a sandy substrate I got from PetSmart. All in all, this, this thing is set up great. I mean, it, it functions. I keep my water temperature a little bit over 80. So if you guys like videos like these, I will make more. Um, and I will make more of my setup, my fish. You know, you see they're all good, clean, and happy. Um, I'm not sure what this is. So if you know what this cichlid is, it might be a female. But I know that it's albino. But if you guys would like videos like these, make sure to like and subscribe. So y'all have a good one. Thank you so much for watching.